Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Carol Manning and today I'm going to be painting this little robin in watercolours. It's part of a three-part painting and if you have a look on the right hand side you'll see the picture I end up with by the end of this video. The reference photo for this comes for the robin comes from Unsplash. So in the first week I painted a holly branch and the second video I painted some ivy on a tree trunk. So as I said, this is a continuing picture, so I'm bringing you into it where I'm just completing a diluted wash of cobalt blue and sap green as a background colour to the picture. So now I've got the background colour in, I'm just going to add in some colour to the branch and I'm using Horodam Schmincke super granulating paints and I'm using Glacier Brown and Glacier Black, which are the same two colours that I was using on the tree trunk because I obviously wanted it to match that and look like it was a branch coming out of the tree trunk. So I've used the same colours. I'm not using the reference photo with regards colours of the branch. Obviously I've used the shape, but I'm not using it for the colours. Just sort of making that up. Adding a few lines and marks to make it a little bit darker at the top, but I will be coming back to this branch later on in the video. So now I've done that, I'm coming to the beak and the eye, doing a close up while I'm painting that of the robin. So I am using for this, excuse the tapping, my dog's in here and just decided to have a move around. Um, and I'm using indigo, blue, and lamp black for this. Just lifting it a bit until I get the right shade so I want sort of darker at the bottom and lighter in between. So I'm just giving the Speak a little bit of outline with a back lamp black. The big eye again, I'm starting with the indigo. Excuse any noise in the background because my dog's decided to sit with me and he's decided just to stop munching on his plastic bone. The joys of having a art, art studio assistant. an old boy and he likes the company so I'm afraid sometimes we just have to put up with him being a bit choosing his moments so I'm adding some cadmium red pale hue which is like almost an orangey colour as the background wash for where the red is on the Main part of the red is on the robin. I 
for the rest of the body I'm using a mix of cobalt blue with a touch of indigo and Chinese white to lighten it up which is my base colour for the rest of it which isn't so dissimilar from the sky colour so we're pretty much going to cover the rest of the robin with this Uh, I'm now using some cadmium red hue to add the feather lines on the chest. So I said the two colours I'm using are on the background cadmium red hue, pale hue, and this is just cadmium red. So very carefully painting around all the little lines looking carefully at the reference photo crisscrossing them a little bit to make them look natural and just working my way around if you want the reference photos for this and the outline if you get to the end of the video and pause you can screenshot both the reference photo and my outline that I've drawn or alternatively you can go to my Facebook group to join it it's only a little group there's only a few of us um, and because I haven't been running very long and on there I put PDFs of any reference photos and outlines I draw for these tutorials so you'd be welcome to join there and I say you can find the image there or alternatively just screenshot so it takes time doing this if you're doing it yourself um, I'm obviously speeded this up because otherwise it would be incredibly long tutorial I think it when I downloaded all the videos it came to almost three hours so <laughs> I've had to cut it back a lot that was just the robin part of it so the whole picture in, in total has taken quite a long time to paint I tend to do a lot of wet on dry painting with a lot of detail rather than the more freer 
wet on wet type images so these are probably a little bit more detailed hopefully straightforward enough for you to follow if you're doing it yourself So just working your way through, um, use a lighter coat to start with, slightly more concentrated and just going over it all. Adding a bit of um, burnt sienna as well, which is quite ready orangey, just for where the very darkest areas are. So I'm just putting a, a wash of the Cadian Red Pale Hue, which is more like an orangey colour, over the top of it, all just to blend it together. And I'll say, excuse the tip tapping. So my dog's just come back in. So now working on the body, I'm putting the brown on first over the head and I'm using Van Dyke brown for all of the brown. So it's either Van Dyke brown or Van Dyke brown diluted or mixed with um, Chinese white. So for the darkest it's just Van Dyke brown. So again, looking carefully at the direction of the feathers and doing a little bit crisscrossing to make it look natural and just working your way all the way around.
So again on the, the wing it's just a case of following the feathers other than the bottom wing and the tail feathers and most of it is just fluffy feathers. So just to find. So drawing in all the lines on the wing, um, I did notice a bit later on that I hadn't quite got the tip of the wing quite accurate because there's a un bit of underwing shown which I hadn't registered um, so I did change that a little bit later. using a more diluted brown there just to put in the overall colour. I'm using a fine pro art brush for this. I think it's a 0 0.10 or 10.0. One way or the other, it's a smaller size. The rest of it, I'm using a variety of round brushes of no particular make. Excuse when my fingers get in the way. I'm trying very hard when I'm doing these videos to remember to hold the brush further down the away from the end, but oh, I keep kept forgetting on this one, obviously. So apologies when my fingers are in the way blocking. So I'm now adding the feathers onto the rest of the body and I'm using a cobalt blue and with a hint of um, indigo mixed in with it. With a bit of Chinese whites, so to dull it down a little bit, but just working my way through across the body, putting the feathers in, small crisscrossing on there actual chest area if you look closely you'll see the reference photo you'll see the wing the feathers on this do overlap quite a lot so it's just a case of working your way around the whole of the body 
does take a long time, as I say, the actual film of this took about three hours, but um, this is obviously speeded up with some bits cut out. So if you're doing it yourself, please do give yourself time for it. I'm now going to the feet and I'm going to zoom in for you for this so you can see a little bit closer what I'm doing. I'm using a sort of mauve mixed with a bit of rose madder for this and working my way very carefully around it with a very fine brush. It looks a bit like armour plate in the way it's overlapped. So outlining all the claws and sections of the on the legs and then adding in some shading. to take the leg slightly up further up into the body a bit later on. So I'm just putting a bit of shading onto it now. So a slightly darker shading now. Same colours though, just bit more concentrated. Slightly bit more rose matter in this one bit. And then just a few bits of Chinese white just to get some highlights. So back to the main picture again. And I'm going to start sorting out that wing now. Previous lines are still fine to use, I just need to skew them a little bit. I 
sprinkle in a little bit. Now I'm going back to the body and I'm just adding in some of the orangey colour of the cadmium red pale hue because if you look at the reference photo there's quite a lot of the feathers have got that colour in them and again just working my way around look at the reference photo the photograph crisscrossing where need be until I get enough of that colour in. If you're enjoying this video if you could pre please click the like it would be much appreciated as it helps my channel to grow and if you're enjoying watching and want to watch again then please also subscribe and thank you very much if to those people who have previously commented that's always very helpful as well I'm planning on getting videos up at least once a fortnight, once a week if possible and I'm going to try and vary a little bit between both animals and botanicals mostly I've been doing a lot of birds and animals so far but I'm going to try and include some more botanicals as well as I've quite enjoyed doing both the holly and the ivy video parts of this they might sometimes be like this one and be a combination of a picture whereas I do a picture in, in two or three parts. And this is very much how I work. I do botanicals mainly as backgrounds to my birds or animals rather than the main focus themselves. It is normally as a part of a wildlife picture. Just touching up the browns. There are some a few long hairs down, hairs, feathers rather, round by the beak so I'm just adding those in with a, a bit of Van Dyke brown and I'm just adding a touch of darker browns around where they need it around the eyes.
So I'm just adding the brown now to the parts of the body where it needs to be. So putting in the brownie feathers and also adding more details to those tail feathers. Going back to the blue, just touching up bits there, slightly darker version. So I'm now adding in a slight wash, sort of orangey brown wash over the body where the brown area are, is, just to mesh it together a bit. And I'm lifting a few areas as well where I want some highlights just by using clean water and some kitchen roll. So both a mixture of the highlights and the darker shading just gives it a bit more of a shape. Doing similar with the trunk branch rather. I'm just putting some details back in the wing but with a lighter shade. So like a lighter shade of brown so it keeps that highlight but adds a bit of detail back in. And I'm saying just going over some bits and just putting some of the details back in. Sometimes I want the highlight, but I, it loses a little bit of the detail, so I'll then put the, some of the detail back in with that lighter shade. I 
it's very much a case of lots of layering. So I'm now just adding some Chinese white, fairly concentrated chew paint, just to put some white feathers and highlights around. And again, excuse my fingers. I tend to use these little ceramic um paint palettes from just from YouTube um from Amazon just because I found because they're ceramic they just clean off so easily and they're not very big either so you haven't got like a large area to fill. Whole little stack of these so I just can have two or three on a go if for one painting and then if I've got two paintings on a go I've got enough enough of those little palettes to keep the paint going. I'm now adding a little bit more detail to the branch. So I'm using the Horrid M. Schmincke Glacier Brown, sorry, rather Glacier Black, Black, just to put some more details onto the branch. As I say, I'm not following any reference or anything for this, I'm just making it up as I go along. But I wanted it to match the tree, so I'm using the same colours as I used in the tree trunk. And also add in some Chinese white to give some highlights. So I'm just adding a few more tiny details by putting some of the Sakura jelly pen lines on to the robin just to give some extra fine lines using a 0.5 pen.
just lifting a few more bits off where I could felt I wanted a bit more of a highlight. And add in in a bit more of the comp of a of the cadmium red hue just to make the red parts of the robin in places just a little bit redder so it pops out a bit more. So I'm almost coming to the end of this and say if you haven't seen part one and two where I painted the holly one week and then the ivy the next, perhaps at the end you could click on those to see how the picture started and I say we're coming up to the end of it so I will show you the finished picture at the end and there will be the reference photo and the outline to screenshot. So here's a finished painting. If you've enjoyed watching, as I said, if you could please click the like button and perhaps consider subscribing, it'd be much appreciated and hopefully I might see you here again. Thank you.